Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Lots of conversations to be had on this ride. So, ride and discussion. Let's ride. Hi. Hi there. Beep. Beep. What are you doing in here? Being a bug. Oh, Say nope. I am not. Say nope. I am not. Beep. Well, I had to stop and see my son and my granddaughter. Just for a minute. Good enough. So I'm on my ride where I go around, where I ride around downtown and and all that. I may go uptown as well. I don't know. You know they're connected. Uptown, downtown, old part of our community, new part. You know how it goes. Nothing too strenuous. So, the way things are going, with all the reports that I'm seeing, I don't watch news and all that stuff, but you can't help but run across things while you're online. And uh, supposedly we have thousands and thousands of new cases of COVID popping up. I keep seeing Texas and Florida in the news. Things are shutting back down. Being required to wear masks again and all this different stuff. Well, here's my thoughts and opinions. We just opened up our country again, pretty much nearly full, fully. Uh, there's still a lot of restaurants not allowing people to come in and sit. But we pretty much got things up and going, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here pops up all these new cases. Well, if it's that easy to get COVID-19, then I'm pretty certain that what I said in the very beginning of all this is true. We're all going to get it. If it's real. Now, we know that they are diagnosing sneezes and sniffles and a cough, a headache, a broken foot, a spleen. 
has COVID-19. We know that. We've heard the news, the rumors, uh, whatever. And there's always some truth in rumors. So, if all the cases are legit, COVID-19, and dangerous as it's made out to be, then here's the deal. We might as well go on full lockdown. Everything needs to be shut down except for grocery stores and you have to have appointments or or numbers to get in there and everyone has to wear hazmat suits and be sprayed down everywhere they go and everything they touch and and the whole entire country at least the country our country needs to be on unemployment everyone except the grocery stores hospitals doctors offices those are essential going to the courthouse like I'm at right now is not essential. Everything should be online, through the mail, paying all your bills, mortgages, second mortgages, car payments, all your insurance needs. Everything should be paid online or through the mail. Taxes and everything else. Uh, we should not be able to leave our house for nothing. Not even for bike rides. Not even to go for a walk. Not even to take a Sparky out for a dump. So, until all that happens, I guess we're just screwed. I don't know what to think. Uh, they're talking about opening up schools on time or whatever. To me, it's still early, like August 3rd, uh, here in my town. But there's no way. They're going to open up. Someone's going to have a sniffle. They're going to deem it COVID, and then we're all going to shut right back down. So is my job at Jeopardy now that being a school bus driver, are teachers in Jeopardy and janitors and the cooks and all the faculty and everyone? Yeah, I guess we're all uh, at risk, you know, being out of work, I guess. I don't know. Uh, is, everything, is, is schooling just going to go to online only? Who knows? Who knows, guys? It's just a bunch of horse crap. For lack of a better word. Now, on to racism. Black Lives Matter. And everything involving that. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. We've heard all we've heard that before, right? Well, that goes for this. Uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We've all heard that one, right? Well, that goes for this as well. If every single white thing is bad, if, if we all have to change, if you're going to take black images off of products and other things, black people have to change. Black people have to take images off of products as well that might show white people. Everything has to change as a whole as a whole world, as a whole country, whatever the case may be. And I'm singling out blacks and whites because, let's face it, that's the two people that are always at it. Two races, two ethnicities, whatever you want to call it. To me, we're all one human race. To me, ethnicity should determine our colors. But look in the dictionary, it's not that. Um, it is... The most one side, the most one-sided argument that I guess I've ever seen. Uh, literally everything, everything that white people say, think, and do is wrong to black people, and everything that black people think, say, and do is pretty much wrong to white people as a whole and as a majority for the most part. Guess what? We're on this planet together. We are considered, really, at the end of the day, a family. We're supposed to be a family. And guess what? All family members don't get along. Some family members can get along, and some can be around one another and tolerate one another, and then some people can't stand one another and never see each other. Those are the same instances between whites and blacks. We're not meant to all get along, and we're not all meant to think, see, believe uh, the same things and have all the same opinions and all these different things. We're not all meant to be the same and on the same page. I stand firmly behind that we don't have to like one another 
uh, you can call it hatred, you can call it racist, you can call it dislike, you can call it whatever you want. We're human beings, we're allowed to feel how we want to feel, and we shouldn't be punished for it. That don't mean you get to go around causing harm to people, killing people, beating up people, destroying property, that type of stuff, bullying people. None of that is, none of that should be ever allowed. But hating someone, disliking someone, you can call it racist, whatever badge you want to put on it, I don't care. We should be free to have those feelings and not be punished. We should have freedom of speech, not freedom of speech with uh, consequences. Uh, you don't have freedom of speech. Okay, freedom of speech would mean there's no consequences, say whatever you want, and you're good to go. You're not going to get beat up. You're not going to be fired from your job. You're not going to be socially uh, uh, and community uh, kicked out. Uh, there's no repercussions. You're free to speak your mind without any punishment. We don't have that in this country, uh, nor any of the world, probably. People are getting punished for speaking their mind. They're getting beat up and killed and ridiculed and bullied and put out there on social media and in uh, the news and and uh, newspapers and stuff like that. It's not right. We have rights. It should either be full rights or no rights at all. There's no in-betweens. You can't have freedom of speech and then have punishment for it. That's ignorant. Black person don't like me? He hates white people? Fine. Good. Just don't do me no harm. Same thing with me. If I don't like black people, I should have the right. I love black people. I love all kind of people. What matters to me is what's in your heart, mind, and soul. You know who I'm racist against? Lazy, disgusting people. Drug pushers. Gunslingers. Thugs. People who don't work. People who live off welfare. People who are spitting out kids and don't take care of them. People who are disgusting murderers, rapists, uh, pedophiles, and that such a person. That's who I hate. That's who I dislike. And you can put a badge on it if you want and call it racist. I don't care what you call it. At the end of the day, that's how I feel. So, that's just a, a few topics there that I wanted to get off my chest. And I've spoke about them before and I've made videos and I've, I've even put things on Facebook how I feel and... But it's just one of those days where, yeah, it's beautiful out. I'm having a good bike ride. But I also wanted to get my message across again in hopes that people will finally listen and understand. Uh, and I understand this. The majority of black people will think I'm racist. Matter of fact, 99.99999% will think I'm racist. Because if you're not 110% fully with them, you're against them. And I stand by that. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Let's start our ride again. really humid today we had a uh, pretty good rain last night or yesterday and last night so 
kind of kicked up the humidity. And we still got some pretty good wind. Alright guys, I'm just a little over a mile from my house. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. That way I can just concentrate on the pedal. Hope you enjoy your day. Take part in the com in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get my channel up to a thousand subs. Let's get my channel up to a million subs. Because I'm a good channel good-hearted person and I agree with equal rights and freedoms for everyone color plays no part so guys get up get out get red do it good we'll see you later Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!